I'm Renuka Kirpalani and I wish you a warm, warm welcome to the Autocar India Awards 2022 presented by Reliance General Insurance in partnership with Times Network and in association with tire partner Apollo Tires, DMS technology partner Orbitsis and Maps and Mobility partner Map My India. Each trophy that gets awarded tonight is a recognition of the resilience, innovation and agility displayed by the automotive industry in these dynamic and unpredictable times. Well, I might be on stage, but I tell you this, I'm as keen as the members of the audience to know how cars and bikes are going to get the coveted crown, which ones are going to race to the finish up ahead. I'm Rishi K. I'll be along with you and the beautiful Renuka for the rest of this wonderful evening. Well, I'm happy to note that I'm familiar with most of the jury members, but as someone who's been an Autocar subscriber for ages, I know one man especially very well. And that is Horma Sorabji, editor of Autocar India. I think it would be a really good idea to have him up here and tell us about 20 years of the Autocar Awards. Good evening, everyone. It's great to be back, which is uh, right here, which has been the home of the Autocar Awards for most of the 20 years. In fact, uh, 20 years is a long time. We're really proud that pandemic or no pandemic, uh, this is the longest running automotive awards uh, without a break. We're really proud of that. Also, along with the longevity, there's a certain um, level of continuity, uh, which is there in our jurors. Most of them have been with us for almost all the 20 years, or at least the better part of a decade. Just gives a sort of consistency to the evaluation uh, we do. Now, uh, to say that uh, we are in challenging and unpredictable times is an uh, understatement. In fact, to be honest, uh, I'm not sure if these are good times for the car buyer. We live in a shortage economy. Uh, the microchip uh, shortage crisis continues, which means uh, waiting periods are very, very long. Not quite back to the old Ambassador Padmini days, but uh, really long, uh, some going over a year. Prices have gone through the roof. Petrol is super expensive, and uh, you know, really, it's it's tough for the consumer. But uh, I think uh, you know, I see some hope in the trends that are coming forward, and uh, that's a lot to do with electrification, uh, not just for the environment or global warming, which is here and now. We can feel it on this sweltering evening. But I think because what electrification is going to do, it's kind of going to level the playing field, and we've already seen it do that. Uh, we've seen uh, certain uh, manufacturers which have uh, just taken the lead in, uh, the, in the EV space. Tata Motors, for example, I mean, uh, you had Maruti, which was controlling the entire market, but in the EV space, you've got a new player there. Uh, even uh, certain startups in the two-wheeler space, I mean, like it or not, uh, with, despite all their problems, Ola today is the number one uh, two-wheeler, electric two-wheeler producer, and that too without... Uh, uh, distribution network. So really a lot of disruption happening. So I think uh, with this, uh, we can look forward to some exciting times. Uh, clearly, uh, electrics are happening. We are seeing the transition uh, in India happening faster than we anticipated. We are here to embrace it. And for all of us at Autocar, I can tell you that uh, we will be tracking the new developments. And as ever, like we've done for the last 20 years, updating you right from the front lines, uh, reporting on the latest cutting edge tech and all the new products as they happen. And uh, with that, I'd like to hand it back to Renuka and uh, Rishi. Thanks very much. I'd like to now invite Rakesh Jain, CEO of Reliance General Insurance, a company that has been at the forefront of innovation, to say a few words. I feel automotive industry reflects the aspiration of this country. And to a great extent, of course, we see the economic activities around this, but for people who are growing up and who want to enjoy life, I guess there's no better way than to own a nice vehicle. At Reliance General Insurance, we believe India's story is what drives us. We are growing, we are growing behind the consumer choice, and my sense is that in times to come, we will outshine everybody. Tonight is a special night. 
while we have seen adversities, we have seen people going back to the drawing boards, electric vehicles, or the way we are seeing the usage of AI and ML, the cars are becoming gadgets, and I think we are heading for exciting times. So tonight is the time to celebrate. Tonight is the time to really enjoy all the good work, all the thinking which all of you have put at your place. I think it's also a way to influence each other. This is to co-create an opportunity and feel nice about it. Let us live our time. Let us celebrate tonight. And at Reliance General Insurance, I assure you, we'll be neck to neck, shoulder to shoulder with you. Thank you so much. We turn our attention now to a very integral part of automobiles. The aspect that moves us as much as engines and power outputs do. That is about design, of course. And while the future of automobile design will constantly change, various automobile designers I've spoken with over the years have assured me that cars and motorcycles will always first appeal to our hearts. And that brings us to the award for best design and styling. To hand over the award, we would like to invite India's renowned automotive historian and our juror, Manvendra Singh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Not a surprise at all, the Citroen C5 Air Cross. Uh, it's French. It had to be stylish. Uh, therefore, uh, it's, it's not a surprise that we won the best design of the year award for the C5 Aircross. While you may not have an all new car, if you're a smart company, you'll know how to ride a trend or effect a small but crucial change that leaves an imprint on the consumer's minds. And in a fast changing world, it's crucial to keep up with those trends. There were over 100 such cars this year last year, not this year, and this is a huge number of variants, but our judges whittled it down to the top five before they picked a winner. Now, before we look at those nominees, may I have on stage Mr. Prabhdeep Batra, Chief Marketing Officer, Corporate at Reliance General Insurance, to give away the award for the variant of the year. First facelift. If you see, it is not an ordinary facelift. It comes with great exterior changes. Interiors are absolutely new. Not only refreshing, but I would say fully, completely new. And hence, I think it won the hearts and laurels of customers. While we love great design, powerful engines, and the latest features, a car really scores high when it is, what else, but VFM. The contenders for our next award, Value for Money Car of the Year, are great examples of excellent packaging, and I'd like to invite Shapur Kotwal, Deputy Editor, Autocar India, to join us up here and let us all know who won this coveted crown. And the winner is the Mahindra XUV 700. It's a, it's a comprehensive package. And while it's a large car and while it's a big car, the, the fact that we have thrown in everything at it just makes it a perfect value for money car for, for everyone. Uh, now while the winners of the next category have not been decided by our jurors, it's important because it has important insights for marketeers and automobile companies who want to understand how the new age customer thinks and what it is that appeals to them. We are talking of course of the viewer's choice, car and bike of the year awards. So which is the car and bike that has got the most number of votes from our viewers across all of Autocar's platforms? Well you know the answer in just a bit. And the winner is the Mahindra XUV 700 again. Congratulations! Can we invite Mr. Pratap Bose, Chief Design Officer, Auto and Farm Sector, Mahindra and Mahindra, to receive this award? Viewers today are so discerning that they give their vote very, very carefully. And, and that's why this is such a coveted award for all of us at Mahindra Auto. The award is for Viewers' Choice Bike of the Year. And the winner is the Royal Enfield Classic 350. No, it's, it's, it's uh, super amazing. I think all the community, all the riders who have been riding it, owning it, they are very happy about uh, this motorcycle. And, and look, that's the testimonial <laughs> Autocar's weird choice uh, that tells us a lot. Well, staying with two wheels, we come to one of the hottest segments of the two-wheeler market, scooters. This year, the competition has been a mix of performance, commuter, and electric options. 
This is the award for the Scooter of the Year, and may we invite on stage our resident juror and assistant editor for Two Wheeler, Rishad Modi. The Scooter of the Year is the Yamaha Aerox 155. With every passing year, motorcycles and the people who buy them are evolving rapidly. And that means that manufacturers are facing new challenges to keep their product lineups relevant and exciting for these increasingly discerning and demanding customers. As has become the norm, we have an impressive lineup of contenders for the Premium Bike of the Year Award. Rishad is struggling with that envelope. And the winner is the Trident 660. Uh, I think everything went right uh, uh, with this motorcycle. The brief to the engineers, as I understand, was to create an exciting motorcycle, which is not too intimidating uh, for a first-time big bike uh, rider. And I think it touched all the right points, and that is what is making it so aspirational for uh, people to upgrade to big motorcycles. So, yeah, thanks a lot for this. Well, now, while the number of premium motorcycles in India continues to grow, there is a large selection of imported motorcycles available to customers. These bikes, well, they deserve an award of their own. So that brings us to an import bike of the year. To give, us, to give away this award, may we have on stage Mr. Raman Arora, Chief Operating Officer, Reliance General Insurance. And the winner is Ducati Multistrada V4S. This is the flagship product from Ducati. In fact, uh, this bike has definitely pushed the level and the bar very, very high. Well, brand new products are certainly exciting. But a significantly updated motorcycle can also prove to be just as relevant. In order to give these machines the recognition they deserve, we have the two-wheeler variant of the year award. May we invite Sergius Barreto, managing editor, Autocar India, to give away this award. It's the Hero X-Pulse 204V. It is leading adventurous motorbike in uh, the segment. And we thank you, all the customers, for their love and affection and for this. Thanks a lot. Moving forward, it's time to change gears and raise the revs. The next category of bikes can get anyone's heart racing. They blow your mind with the unbelievable levels of performance and come in absolutely mesmerizing designs. Every bike enthusiast dreams of owning one. And we're talking performance bike of the year. And the performance bike of the year goes to the Suzuki Hayabusa. It has been, I mean, I don't have words to express the kind of response and the patronage that the brand has got in India. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to move on to another league and talk about automobiles that have become signifiers of success. These are cars built for people who know what they want and demand the very best. To give away the luxury sedan of the year award, I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Ankit Bhatt, Chief Strategy Officer, Map My India. And the award goes to Mercedes Benz S Class. It's an extremely proud moment to receive uh, the award for the best uh, luxury car here in India. I mean, for us, it had always been the S-Class, the best car of the world. And I think with this, this edition, we have again proven uh, that it's worth this title. Thank you very much, uh, everyone. We're moving from the large and luxurious to the compact and practical. As an auto company, having one of these in your portfolio has become a must. And we see so many manufacturers rushing towards this space. Well, to give away this award, may I invite on stage Mr. Heyman Jain, Chief Financial Officer, Reliance General Insurance. The award goes to Renault Kiger. It's a great design built in uh, tandem with the French people as well as the complete Indian team was engaged 
and uh, well recognized thank you to all the customers as well as autocar this leads us on to the next category of cars that enable long and memorable trips with our families with or without sleep <laughs> yep these are cars that can do hundreds of kilometers across india without missing a beat and yet look the part when parked outside swish restaurants in town we're talking about mid-size suvs and let me tell you that the auto car test team recently did a mega comparison test in this segment and there was so much argument in the office i cannot tell you i think uh, this went on days with everyone having opinions and while there are hot newcomers it's a very very competitive space and the winner is volkswagen tiger I think this is a testament uh, to the build quality, safety, and fun-to-drive experience that the Tiguan brings on the table. It's been overwhelmingly loved by everybody in the media, and most importantly for us, uh, the customers. So thank you very much once again. A proud moment for us as a team. Our next category of cars is for folks who like their SUVs to be massive, and yet at the same time embellished with the best of luxury. Okay, the winner is Mahindra XUV 70. Conceptualized design in a way that it appeals across categories. So, do we call it an SUV? But I, there's a lot of people who want to buy it, independent of the category they come from. Uh, so, its appeal is a lot of very global. Well, we're now entering a different realm in which words such as precision. and on the limit up par for the course these cars are devilish once they get you hooked into them there's no escape they might cost a bomb but it is outweighed by the sheer thrill they deliver well we are taking adrenaline inducing fun yes this is the performance car of the year well this one is one i never thought i'd call out for a performance car but it is the Porsche Taycan and EV wins the performance car of the year Yeah 70 years of evolution means 70 years of revolution and particular to win in this performance class we see again that uh, whatever is Porsche doing is still a Porsche Ladies and gentlemen please welcome the honorable minister of tourism and environment for the government of maharashtra shri aditya thakre wonderful to have you here can we have you on stage it is truly a delight to be here because obviously some of the best vehicles best four wheelers two wheelers are you know obviously featured in the magazine and i've known him i've known you for a while now but obviously the ev rally that we had that is quite interesting and we're looking to many more ev rallies in the coming few years speaking about cars speaking about two wheelers it's always been a personal passion for me as for every other boy who's grown up in the city uh, seeing many vehicles around seeing some of the best vehicles around but going beyond that what i'm really keenly interested in is to take ahead the lead that maharashtra has always had in being the automotive hub of india in terms of its production in terms of sales in terms of marketing in terms of almost everything in the last two years that we've been working through covid my personal passion has been largely electric mobility and alternate fuel as everybody knows here and hopefully everyone will be there in pune very soon uh, 2nd of april onwards we're having the alternate fuel conclave in pune which will be hopefully year on year experience for all of us um, seeing many more vehicles many more two wheelers three wheelers four wheelers buses come up for us this magazine of autocar has been a tribute to our passion for all of these vehicles and as i speak today i speak on all behalf of the government of maharashtra trying to push ahead the automotive industry in maharashtra to propel the ev and alternate fuel mobility revolution in our country i think we can make a strong beginning from maharashtra itself from mumbai itself if all of us work together strive together with enough passion we can take the lead in pushing india ahead in the alternate fuel mobility revolution around the world thank you well renuka i can safely say our next category celebrates cars whose time has arrived now a category that is slowly and steadily gaining momentum this is the green car of the year audi e-tron e-tron sportback All 
I am doing in the last couple of months is asking more and more cars from my headquarters. So really thrilled, thanks to AutoCard teams and most importantly thanks to our customers who have been loving these cars and we will try to bring more and more in the future and uh, you know make the electric cars story a big success for India. This award is to celebrate that leader, the one that has steered his company in difficult times, made it future-proof and kept the customer at the core of his mission. And we are happy to announce that the person of the year is Venu Srinivasan, the chairman of TVS Motor Company. From the time we joined a business, what a transformation from building licensed products to joint ventures to designing and building our own products and to exporting across the world. This is the story of the Indian automotive industry. And I think all the members are gathered here, all have a part in it. And really, I think uh, it was, I'm very fortunate that in my lifetime, we have seen India from a poor quality, high cost country to be a high quality, low cost country, which is exporting across the world. To thanks to all of you who have made this possible. Thank you. The last two years, ladies and gentlemen, have seen automakers deal with everything from a pandemic to supply chain issues and a global chip shortage. But one among us tonight has had a different playbook and has taken these challenges head on. Our next award, as you'd have rightly guessed, is for the Manufacturer of the Year. That's Tata Motors Limited. And last two years, as you said, is very uh, has been very tough. Whether you talk about the three waves of COVID, semiconductor, uh, as well as the commodity prices increasing, I think in these uh, last two years there have been some massive efforts which have been put in by the entire Tata Motors team, suppliers, dealers, and uh, we have gone with some very innovative uh, thoughts behind the semiconductor crisis, for example, where the teams came together. And uh, really, the innovation has enabled us to uh, overcome this crisis which was on us. So I'm very delighted to achieve this, uh, to receive this award. And uh, all the credit goes to the team who has been behind this turnaround, I would say. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now in the final lap, which will give us two of the most coveted awards in the Indian automotive industry. The Bike of the Year and the Car of the Year Awards. These are the ones that have impressed our highly demanding and nitpicking jury. They are well thought out, well engineered products that are destined to be big winners. Can we hear the bike of the year? Will you be able to guess? Rishad. <laughs> Come on, manufacturers, do you know the sound of your own bike? Who am I hearing the biggest cheer that? from? Right, so this is a TVS Reader. to create a head turner and it's not only turn head it's one hearts and the kind of uh, response we have got in the entire digital trade has been amazing so thank you for the award thank you to Autoka. we are extremely proud about this and now to the moment we've all been waiting for the biggest prize in the Indian automotive space for the one that has raised the bar in every area to give the customer what they want Ladies and gentlemen, this is our car of the year. So it's a um, Mahindra XUV 700. Whoa! <laughs> Exactly 30 years ago, I had just joined Mahindra and Mahindra's automotive division and one of the largest consultancy firms in the world came to me and said, Anand, just stick to tractors. 
because in cars, you don't have scale, you don't have quality, you've never made a hard top car before, you're not going to be able to compete with the MNCs who are going to come in because liberalization had just happened. He said it would be wise for you to shut down the auto business. Thank God I wasn't wise enough to take his advice, <laughs> is what I remember. Because not only have the people who we had faith in vindicated that belief, we have survived and we have thrived. But I'll tell you, Hormuz, even in my wildest dreams, I would not have imagined or predicted then that 30 years later we would get the Car of the Year award. So this is a very special evening. You know, I, I often say gone are the days where you could say there was something called a unique selling proposition in your product. These days, if you're able to bundle something for everyone, that's what creates the joy. And I think we've been able to do that very well with the 700 and with the sweet pricing that we've done for the product. I think that's what's given it the success and so much of, uh, so much of love from all our customers. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the Autocar India Awards 2022 as much as we did bringing it to you and celebrate an incredible automobile industry. Thank you for all your love and support. And uh, from Renuka and myself, Rishi K, it is uh, good night and see you on the other side. Thank you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful night ahead. <laughs>